on the different amino acids. W is for tryptophan, R is for arginine, K for lysine, and Y for uh, tyrosine. Uh, so I will give a brief introduction for the working proteins. This is one of the largest families of transcriptional regulators and uh, it has uh, yeah, internal networks which makes, uh, which regulates the plant processes. Uh, like it regulates the processes such as uh, response to herbatic stress, seed germination, senescence and wound responses. The first uh, cDNA encoding working protein, SPF1, was cloned from sweet potato. Uh, I would give a general uh, overview of working domains and WBOG. Uh, working domain is about 60 amino acid residue in length and it, ha it contains working signature at N terminal end and a typical zinc finger uh, uh, structure at the C terminus. Uh, and it also consists of four beta strands with the cis and dis residues forming a, a zinc binding pocket at the C terminal. The The working GKQ residues correspond to the end term uh, terminal most of the beta strand and thereby it helps uh, the transcription factor to go and bind to the major glue of the DNA and it helps in the transcription regulation. Uh, this was the picture like the primary structure and the 3D structure of the working domain which I found and it represents the four beta sheets are different and this is the uh, where the DM it goes and binds this this particular site goes and binds to the DNA for the transcription and these are the like cysteine and histidine residues which form the zinc protein domain and here you can see that in the 3D structure the yellow represents the working signature and uh, blue represents the zinc finger coordinates. Uh, uh, they did a study in the phylogenetic, they developed an the unrooted phylogenetic tree from several plants working uh, transcription factors and they came with the three groups and several subgroups. Uh, and uh, what they found was like, uh, they, uh, it showed that there was a dramatic am amplification of the working genes and which had to play a role in evolution. And they found that some of these genes, when they amplified in case of rice, were due to tandem and segment, segmental gene duplication compared to, with those of Arabidopsis. And uh, these results suggested that some of the working genes in group 3 uh, from the evolutionary were more active in Arabidopsis than uh, were uh, more active in rice when compared to Arabidopsis, which suggested that it would have a specific role to playing mono, monocotyledon and plants. Monocots. Sorry. Um, some of the biological roles, like it, it, these transcription factors are upregulated in stress, stress response, wounding, pathogen infection, and several other things. It can be upregulated. It can be downregulated in some of the factors. I will explain one example in further slides. Uh, like the one in a, one of the studies, wherein they found that 49 out of 72 working. Uh, genes when they were studied to bacterial infection, uh, they found that the overall uh, regulation of the genes was high uh, to the, for, uh, like the regulation of the genes was high. So what they predicted that the overall regulation of the plant process again the defense would be even more higher when you come, when they did the pilot study, they thought, they assumed that it could be much more highly regulated when the overall, they, when they look at the overall plant process. And also, this percentage of gene family responding to biotic stress uh, suggested that they might have played a key role in the expansion of working family. As I said, that in evolution, uh, like working family would have expanded due to biotic or uh, biotic stress, and it has been replicating. Uh, um, I came across this uh, article like uh, Rustin et al. 2010. He explained like with several. He has written a review about working proteins, and he explained about like several uh, examples like how they regulate, how they form, uh, how they bind to the cis or trans, or trans element. But I just took up like one uh, diagram, and I thought of explaining this like uh, the figure in like 
corresponds to the transcription factor, uh, like the amyl is 32 b, which is uh, important in the seed germination in case of barley. Uh, so what they try to explain is in presence, of, in absence of gibberellic acid and presence of abscisic acid, uh, the work E38, then uh, these negative cofactors, these negative uh, regulators form a reprosome and inhibits the, maintains the seed dormancy. And when it comes to, when the, in the presence of gibberellic acid, uh, these positive regulators, uh, I think one of these is, I think RAM oil is a zip, pro, zip finger protein, I think which helps in the say, uh, breaking the dormancy and the seed germination. And uh, senescence they studied in case of Arabidopsis, wherein uh, they saw that uh, MAP, uh, these are MAPK uh, kinases which help in the senescent process, uh, like uh, they bind to the work E50, uh, Y53. And uh, this is self phosphorylated, that's what I read. I don't know the, how the process is occurred and stuff like that. But when this particular um, uh, MAPK uh, kinases bind to work it 53, uh, they, they initiate the senescence process. And most of these studies, whenever they did, they suggested that though they know these, uh, like the presome and ansosome, they don't know what is exactly happening, uh, happening. There might be some epigenetic regulations. And in case of senescence, they also studied that they found that there were a the lot of histone modifications. Like uh, as we studied in our class S3K4, ME3, uh, that particular modifications were pretty like histone uh, regulations were very high in case of senescence. When they looked at this process, they compared with that study and the regulation of those modifications was pretty high. And so that was an example I came across and the, some functions of these proteins, I think most of the point may be repeated like uh, they can activate or repress the transcription uh, or uh, like the transcription process and some of the work factor process both the functions like for example AT work 53 in case of senescence is co-transformed with the report of construct in a rapid of the plus uh, negatively regulated while acting on others promoter as an activator uh, and uh, many map kinases pathways are involved in controlling work transcription factor activity histone modifications may play a role in uh, regulation another mechanism of uh, work would be regulated by small RNAs uh, like uh, some of the Transcription factors like in across the plant kingdom, like a rapid of Italian at 74, glycine max at 197, or Isosata 102. Uh, there, there was a, like I think a bunch of uh, 2025 list of them. I just thought that this would be important since like we look at you know these are model organisms and like rice is now the model for monocots and stuff like that. So. And I would conclude by saying that Worky gene seems to have originated early in eukaryotes and majorly found expanded in plants. And uh, the experiment on these particular proteins would give, should provide us a valuable information on their functions. And although we know a lot of uh, primary sequences of the Worky proteins, but uh, and we can assemble those things, but we we'll, we won't understand how they bind until we know the atomic structure or like the structural resolution of the protein folding and so so the, and these are some of the reference papers I took from. And first three were from the website what you mentioned and I <laughs> followed these links and I followed this particular was a, actually this is a review of, in 2010 made by Rustin et al. And it gives you more idea. Like it gives you most of the my presentation part was from that review and these were like giving me an idea about how the work is transcribed. They talk about how they developed the phylogenetic tree and stuff. Yeah, the, the trends uh, series is always a good place where you get a nice summary of, of a subject within like two, three pages. And it's a good starting place. And they usually have all the most recent and most important references and even point out what are the important references. So that's always a good, a good reference. Thank you, Rutan. Remember to take a breath every once in a while. Okay. <laughs>